Hey, joining us now from the Diocese of Portland, uh, Joe Mayotte, who is Youth and Young Adult Ministry Coordinator, and Sarah Hood, who is Events Coordinator for the upcoming Men's and Women's Conferences taking place in the Great Diocese of Portland in early December. Once again, guys, thanks for coming. Thank you, Father. Yeah. We're glad yeah. to be here. It's Thank you great, for having us. It's great to have you here. Now, these conferences are coming up, as I recall, December 1st mm -hmm. and December 8th. Yes. And I, I have to ask you both. It's it would be great if we could all be from the state of Maine, uh, because that's the way life should be, mm -hmm. or something like that. But not all of us have the privilege of living in Maine, but is anybody welcome to come to one of these conferences? Absolutely, yep, they're open to anyone. We would love to have folks from the Boston area come up. The more the merrier, it would be great to get lots and lots of people together for the conferences. Good, well that's good to know that we're welcome. And, and Joe, why is it important uh, for a diocese to have great events, gatherings like this for men and women? I think especially uh, with the men's and women's conferences serving a need that in our culture uh, I think it's no secret that in the modern world we don't appreciate always the way God has made us as men and as women unique and uh, with a purpose and so a diocese bringing together men and women at their conferences respectively offers an opportunity uh, for great fellowship uh, brotherhood and sisterhood am amongst one another but also a specific opportunity to explore the ways in which the Lord calls our hearts into deeper relationship with Him, calls us to, uh, you know, us men to act in a masculine way in the world, uh, an authentic way. You know, the Lord has uh, made each of us individually in His image as men and women, and uh, our hearts long for Him in a specifically masculine or specifically feminine way. And so at these conferences, we can explore what that means, uh, have a great day of fellowship together, and uh, ultimately just gr draw closer to our Lord. Thanks. Well said. Thanks. Yeah, and, and you know, it, we all have very, very busy lives. Mm. All of us, even I've noticed people who are retired, <laughs> they're never really retired. They're always busy, and, and young people are busy. Uh, going to school is, is like a job in, in many respects. But why is it important, Sarah, for a man or a woman young or older, to take time, to make the time, the space, to participate in one of these conferences. Yeah, I think Joe touched on it a little bit when he was talking about how it's just really, it's so important for us to come together in community because, as we know, it's not easy to be Catholic in today's society, in today's world, and to keep our eyes That's fixed sure. on the eternal and the things that really matter. And so there's something really powerful about coming together in that community with other women to encourage you to be the woman that God called you to be and for the men to come together and be challenged to be the men that we're called to be. Mm -hmm. And um, and so to do that together, to take time away for prayer, it is at the beginning of Advent. Uh, we specifically scheduled them right there in the beginning of December so that men and women have the opportunity to take some time before the craziness of Christmas hits, yeah. push your shopping off for one more weekend, take a Saturday and to just spend some time in prayer with the Lord mm -hmm. to remember what it's all about. Uh, so it's, it's very, very worthwhile. Everyone who attended last year was quick to say so. Oh, so. Good. You know, I, I have to say, this last night I was writing the article for our December magazine. We have to do these things in advance, obviously. So I was writing about Advent, mm -hmm. and it really is the most wonderful time of the year. It, it's, it's a time of, of a very deep sense of peace mm -hmm. and the joy that comes from our being disciples of Jesus and knowing that he has come among us and expecting his return uh, once again in glory. So uh, it is a wonderful time to be having these. Now what can women on December 1st, what can they look forward to if they make the time to come to the Women's Conference? We have a great lineup this year. This is the second annual. So we learned from last year the things that were great. We'll be doing some of those things again and improving even more. So our two keynote speakers, we have Kelly Walquist coming. She's from, uh, she works with the Marians of the Immaculate Conception, Hearts of Fire Parish-based evangelization programs. I believe you've had her here in the studio before. So she'll be the keynote speaker. She's so dynamic. I spoke with her on the phone, and I don't think I've ever had a more dynamic phone conversation before. So I'm sure she'll be a dynamic speaker. She's going to be talking about our Blessed Mother as the model for us. Our theme for the women this year is Courageous Faith Through the Ages. And so she's super passionate to talk about Mary as the model disciple and Mary as the model evangelizer for us as women. And when the committee sat down to choose the theme Courageous Faith Through the Ages, we really felt, uh, 
you know, as Catholics, we have such a long history of women saints and the women of scripture who have gone before us and really shown us what it means to live courageous faith throughout the ages of, of history. And so she's going to be talking about specifically our Blessed Mother mm. and uh, how she's the model for us. And the second meaning of our theme, Courageous Faith Through the Ages, was kind of t uh, to imply that this is open to women of all ages. Okay. We had women last year, uh, girls as young as high school came with their nice. mothers and grandmothers, and then girls in their uh, college years, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, even 80s, was really a day for all ages. So um, Kelly will be there. And then Marie Miller, she's an up-and-coming Catholic musician. I'm really excited about her. She'll be leading worship for the day. She'll be performing a little bit for us and sharing her story. She's a, a new singer-songwriter from the Virginia area, and her website, mariemiller.net, has some of her music featured. So it'll be great to uh, have her there with us as well. A lot of planning. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> is the theme, Joe, the same for the men's conference, or is it a different theme, and, and what can guys expect? You know, the theme at the men's conference is open to authentic faith, and uh, this year, in the year of faith, um, we really want to remind men to keep the door of our hearts open to the Lord, to really invite Him in to show us what it means to uh, exercise authentic faith in our daily lives, in our families, uh, in our church, in our workplaces, in the world. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, Tom Peterson, from Catholics Come Home, oh, and, great guy. and Pat Patrick Madrid, who many of you will know from the radio or from the Envoy Institute, will be with us. They'll both be sharing on topics of uh, deepening our spirituality, growing as authentic men, following after Christ, uh, living lives uh, in pursuit of the cross in our own lives, and of generous sacrificial service to the world and to our loved ones. Uh, and both of them will be encouraging us in specific ways how to reach out uh, to other people and evangelize, to invite them to know Jesus Christ in a meaningful way uh, in the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. And so we're so eager to have them with us for the day on December 8th. Um, we'll have keynote presentations, uh, liturgy, a time of prayer and adoration, and some small group discussion times. Something we've heard from a lot of the men who attended the conference last year was that uh, they were so grateful to meet other men even in their own neck of the woods in Maine, as well as from across the state. And they were very dedicated uh, to the goal of forming men's small groups on okay. the parish level. Mm -hmm. And so w we've designated some time specifically in the day for small group discussion to get to know one another and uh, in hopes to have that fruit of the conference be these ongoing men's groups throughout the, di throughout the diocese. Yeah. Well, these are certainly going to be inspired moments for the women and for the men on December 1st and 8th. And we didn't really talk too much about the details, but where is it being held and where can people find more information? Sure. And most, most of all, how can they get tickets? Yes, absolutely. So our website is the best place to go. Okay. That's OLFFMaine.com. It's where the Office of Lifelong Faith Formation is sponsoring it. So OLFFMaine.com is where they can find information about both conferences as well as registration. can pay online with your credit card. And you just register, fill out the online form, and you're all set to go. The conferences are being held at the Doubletree Hotel okay. in South Portland, so not too far of a drive from folks here in the Boston area. Right off of 95? Yeah, right off of 95, and uh, it's going to be 8.30 to 5. Both conferences will run from mm -hmm. 8.30 to 5 on their respective Saturdays. The women's conference is December 1st, and the men's conference is December 8th. Well, this is great. I, first of all, I want to thank you for sharing your faith and the details about this conference and all the work that you've done, but also for joining me for the first half of the show. Yeah, it's great because to be here. I'm sure people have noticed at home, usually there's two or three of us here, but Jay's on vacation, and I hope he's having a great time, and Kevin had some trouble getting here. But I hope that if Kevin goes to the men's conference, that he leaves early <laughs> and takes the time and makes sure that the traffic does not hinder him from missing a moment, as well as all the other participants. And um, once again, it's OLFFMaine.com. We keep yep. putting that up on the screen. And uh, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Joe, for being with us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Thanks a lot.